द सेकेंड स्टेज ऑफ एस्टर साइकिल इज एस्ट्रस इस ड्यूरेशन इज थ्री टू ट्वेंटी वन डेज विद एन एवरेज ऑफ नाइन डेज अगेन द फर्स्ट पैरामीटर इज बिहेवियर सो इन एस्ट्रस विच अलाउ द मेल टू माउंट नेक्स्ट इज फिजिकल चेंजेस ओके द वलवर डेट वॉज सोलन इन प्रो एस्ट्रस नाउ बिकम फ्लैसिड ड्यू टू डिक्रीज कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ एस्ट्रोजिन ब्लडी डिस्चार्ज ऑफ प्रो एस्ट्रस आल्टरनेट विद स्ट्रा कलर डिस्चार्ज बट सम बिच इज हैव ब्लडी डिस्चार्ज इन बोथ प्रो एस्ट्रस एंड एस्ट्रस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड टिपिकल साइन ऑफ एस्ट्रस इज क्रेनोलेटेड वेजाइना द वेजाइना डेट वॉज एडिमेटस इन प्रो एस्ट्रस नाउ बिकम रिंकल्ड ड्यू टू दिस अपेयरेंस ऑफ एडिमा एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ डिक्रीज एस्ट्रोजिन दीज रिंकल्ड इन वेजाइना आर कार्ड क्रैनुलेशंस एंड दीज कैन बी सीन बाय एंडोस्कोपी नाउ लुक एट द एंडोक्रेनोलॉजी ऑफ एस्ट्रस एस्ट्रोजिन डैट वॉज स्टार डिक्रीजिंग इन लेट प्रोस्ट्रस कंटिन्यूसली डिक्रीज इन एस्ट्रस एंड अटेन आ लेवल जस्ट अब द बेजल कंसनट्रेशन सिमिलरली प्रोजेस्ट्रॉन डैट स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग इन लेट प्रोस्ट्रस continuously increase throughout the estrus this decrease in estrogen and increase in progesterone actually send positive feedback to the hypothalamus as a result hypothalamus release gnrh surge in response to this gnrh surge pituitary gland produce the surge of fsh and lh the important thing is the time of surge so it is considered that positive feedback towards the hypothalamus start when the progesterone concentration increase up to 2 nanogram per ml just at the start of estrus within the 24 to 48 hours after the feedback pituitary gland release the surge of fsh and lh out of these two surges the important is the lh surge because it is related to the ovulation so ovulation takes place after the two days of lh surge and released oocyte take further 2 days to become mature because in which primary oocyte is released last is the vaginal cytology of estrus there is no significant difference in the vaginal cytology of late pro estrus and estrus because in both of these you obtain superficial cells on slide minor differences red blood cells are present in the late progesterone but they are almost absent in the estrus so although the estrogen concentration decrease in the estrus and there is no new hyperplasia but epithelial layers produce as a result of earlier hyperplasia take some time in sloughing so you obtain superficial cells in the estrus the most common cause of infertility in which is breeding at wrong time so what is the best time for breeding suppose the progesterone concentration was 2 nanogram per ml on monday within 24 to 48 hours of this concentration means on tuesday or wednesday lh surge produce 
after two days of LH surge, ovulation of primary oocyte takes place. And after two days of ovulation, primary oocyte become mature. So when the follicle become mature, that is the best time for breeding. Because the freshly matured follicle has maximum this mature follicle remain fertile for two to three days so in short you can say the best time for breeding is four to seven days after LH surge because the mature follicle remain fertile two to three days the LH surge can be predicted by progesterone concentration using ELISA Watch my next video for next stage of Esther cycle. Also subscribe my channel and stay tuned for learning. Thank you all.